Can you hear me? <laughs> so what a what a great way to start, right? Anyway, I'm back. All right, where are these stairs gonna go? Is there gonna be space for stairs possibly back here? All right, so I think, oh shit. But the thing is, is the ceiling that we're gonna lose the ceiling. I don't know if we can do this. I don't know if you can have a multi-level. Could we do it with an atrium ceiling? Would that be okay, do you think? It does seem to like want to try to do it, but there'll be a gap and it's gonna look dumb. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> it just fell out. <laughs> Just fell out of the window. Uh, so what I'm trying to do, in case um, you're wondering, is I'm trying to have some stairs that come down, or maybe like even an elevator would be pretty cool. Oh yeah, NPCs won't be able to path through stuff that doesn't snap, so don't do that. Okay. All right. So what I think I'll do instead then is I'll I'll have the overseer's office up there, and then what I'll do is I'll make a personal quarters underneath. Um, because we have space for all that, right? So we'll have the overseer's office up here. But we'll keep it like this because I think that looks pretty cool like that. Okay, we'll do that. And then under here, down here, we'll have like a, a personal quarters um, through this atrium wall mid. And then we're going to build this. <laughs> we're going to build this all around her. See, look, you get like this nice like wallpaper. <laughs> I don't know, is he gonna pop through? <laughs> Shit. I think we're gonna bury him just perfectly, but it might, like, the glow might come up through the ground. <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel about that. Okay, we'll do that. Oh, yeah, look, the glow is, it's coming up through. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's terrifying. All right, so what do we need in our room? Uh, we can probably store the power armor down there. We'll make, like, a rack. I'll get a rack together, and then we can at least repair the power armor. Look at her. What's she doing? Come on. Get with it. <laughs> Get out of my room. Jesus Christ. It's like Uthgard all over again. Christ almighty. Will you fucking go upstairs to the overseer's console? I mean, Jesus, why can't you find it? Look, I know it's difficult. You have to go all the way out here and go up the stairs. It's not that hard for Christ's sake. Logic gates. Don't even know. Some neon signs. Like, I don't know what we could write, but... We could write some stuff, like open, if we want to. I don't know why we would do that. Neon purple, look, we can just write like, I have the clap in neon on our walls so that if anybody comes to our house, they'll know like what to expect. How does this look? Man, that looks fucking weird as hell. Look at that, It's we have, it's a sleeping aid. It's nothing to do with like prostitution or anything like that. The fluorescent ceiling light? What, how does this look? Yowzers. That's pretty bad. Okay, let's store that we, and never use it again. Um, will you fucking- Give me a chance to consult the desk terminal. Go upstairs. I, I must make sure the desk terminal has everything I need. You're gonna have to walk up fucking stairs to do that. What the hell is going on? She can't figure it out. She's the worst. Now put the open sign. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. shall we? That'd be pretty good. I mean, the red light is basically an open sign, but we can also put the open sign. There you go. You like that? That looks amazing. It's animated and everything. All right, great. We're ready. We're, the Boom Boom Saloon is open for business. We are ready to go. Remove white light and fill it with red dim lights and make it look like a sex dungeon for you and the Grinch. Man, I don't want the, how, this, how the Grinch stole my virginity. I don't want the Grinch to be in my sex dungeon ever. I'm trying to get her into her own damn office, for Christ's sake. Jeez. I mean, eventually, eventually she won't be much of a problem, but for now, anyway. We're gonna set it up here. Oh, you know what else we need to wear, too? We need to wear our Vault 88 jumpsuit, right? It's only right. Perfect. And you know what? Let's take off some of this stupid stuff because we don't really need it, and let us store it in. Give me a chance to consult the desk terminal. What was that noise that you just made? That was crazy. The lighting is all wrong in here. It's too the white lights are too bright, I think. Or or we need more. 
<laughs> Maybe it's the red light. I'm not sure actually. Perfect. Okay, how do we how are we looking? Oh, that's the Rufio I know and love. Look at that. In his nice little Vault 88 pajamas. That's so cute. Okay, we've done it. I don't know how that's gonna look. We might need a, like a light or something up there. This is a fluorescent light, which would be good for like a workshop, right? Ay ay ay. Jeez, that's like that's really crazy actually. I mean, maybe we should put this one. Oh god, why are these lights just so weird? They're so bright. It's crazy. Or like some of these. What's this a fluorescent ceiling light? Maybe this will be a little bit better. Fluorescent ceiling light? Oh my lord. I think it has to come back a little bit if we can get it. I can't even see it. It's trying to pick up the quarter's corner, which I don't want it to do at all. I just want the fluorescent. You can't even see the light. The power armor station, no. Oh, come on. Let me get this light, please. All right, look, we're moving. I did not want to move the whole thing, but. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I just want this light. <laughs> Give it to me. <laughs> it's not letting me have this light back. Look, it's not even hooked up or anything anymore. What the fuck is going on with this fluorescent light? That's crazy. Oh, we're going to have to move all this junk, aren't we? Oh, that's the corner with the door. We don't want that bit. This is the one we want. All right, we're going to have to move the fucking power suit and everything out of the way, too. Ooh. Nice. Do we want just like a weird shopping cart full of guts and stuff next to our bed? You bet your ass we do. And do we want like a bunch of crates? Do we want a barrel of fish in our room? That's another good question. There's a full grill here. There's a nice ashtray for beside our bed so that we can have a smoke in bed. That'll be nice. It's like mint condition. We're probably never going to build a lavatory, so let's just call our personal quarters the lavatory. Look at these Christmas trees. Oh, these are really nice. Do we want a Christmas tree in our room too? Oh, that's really nice. I like that a lot. All right, we're going to get rid of this light and instead have a Christmas tree and then our red light and our open sign. <laughs> At the same time, we can't place this full one down because she's in the way. Get out of the fucking way! I must make sure the desk terminal has everything I need. Oh my god. I think we have to enlist somebody to like do the trade route. Oh yeah, that's right. You have to command someone. I think I might have some people at Sanctuary Hills. So let's go back there and see if we can find somebody to do this for us. And it, we'll see if we can... There's 15 people here. There's got to be someone. Was that Saul Goodman? Oh, yeah, it is. I have a Saul Goodman cup. It's like a customized one as well. It says, this mug is the legal property of... And then my name is on it too. Look, see, can you see it? Kind of? Sort of? Kind of? Can, like I can turn it around a bit. It is full of tea, and I don't want to spill tea everywhere. Oh my god! Sorry, my fingers right in his face, and there is a little bit of glare. But there he is. Look. <laughs> oh my god! That that is such a dad thing to have, isn't it? I like it though. All right, here we are. Trash can, Carla. Can you yeah. do it for us? What about you? Uh, my back hurts. My feet hurt. Everything hurts. Did I for real put mining caps on all these guys? Look at them. Where have you guys been? You've just been mining? <laughs> Jeez. All right. Do we want to start taking some of the... We've got a lot of cat paintings here. <laughs> Jeez. We're going to have many more in the vault too. What else do we want to take? We have a lot of stuff that we like to... Look, a magazine rack for sure. Wouldn't it be nice to have a super mutant in Vault 88 who could wear the Vault 88 uniform and have a Pip-Boy? Holy shit. I'm going to send him straight away. Where are you? Oh, we can send Codsworth down there too. That might be kind of handy. Go back to tower. Don't do that. Go to Vault 88, motherfucker. Yes. So uh, do we want to take the dog too, just in case? The dog might be useful for like the tunnels. And then, <sighs> what are you guys doing under there? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this mess? Oh, hey, what's up? Hey. <laughs> 
<laughs> there he is. Go on. Head back to Vault 88, boy. All right, dog meat is off. We're going to try to dress dog meat in a Vault 88 suit too, if possible. I don't know. Yeah, no, they're just... They're, I'm going to try to get him into one. I don't know if it'll work, like I said, but... Can we set up these... <laughs> Look, Strong's gone. <laughs> See you, Strong. <laughs> off he goes to head. He's heading to Vault 88. I hope he makes it alive. Uh, do I mean, we could send Mama Murphy there, but I think she has to stay here. And honestly, Mama Murphy is just too fucking creepy for me. I, I don't really like her that much at all. Man. I don't even know. Oh look, it's the old office. God, we had so many cool business meetings in here. And look, it's my <laughs> giant collection of pre-war money. It's all still here. All right. <laughs> we're, we're emptying. This we definitely have to take with us, okay? This is definitely something that needs to be set up in the vault for sure as a priority, okay? I can't think straight. I'm not going to be able to command the people of Vault 88 properly without my horde of pre-war money and Sean's crib as well. All right, we definitely don't want this woman coming I with us because she's a fucking bitch. That's why <laughs> we're not bringing her. We could bring these guys back, but there's no way of getting them into my inventory. So it would be a long hike from here down to Vault 88. You know what, though? We'll take that pre-war money and maybe this hoop. Okay, I think we've gotten everything from here that we need for now. Let's head back and let's see if um, the Grinch is upstairs now. It could happen. You never know. Bring the mannequins. <laughs> I want to. Trust me. I want to bring them so bad. It's, it's like my... It's, it's my ultimate fantasy to just have a lot of, of mannequins around, but... No. This. Yeah. Please. I beg your indulgence. <laughs> Good I've fucking waited face. so long. What Hopefully would you like? must not dally. The work compels us. That's creepy. The vault was supposed to have a very specific set of residents. Right. After all, to conduct human trials, you need the perfect test subject. Materials See what I mean about the typing? Survived may prove useful in our experiments. Would you want to listen to this all the time? Look at listen. And look, and she's smiling at me too. It's like it's really fucking creepy. Oh, here we go. Look. She's not smiling at me anymore, but she was. Oh, she's back. Look at how fucking creepy she is. What a momentous day. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Look at her face. What the hell is... <laughs> Look, she's like the woman from Seinfeld where her face changes in certain lights. <laughs> Look. Look, she's like kind of happy now. And then... Ugh. What a momentous day. You're right. It is. It's so momentous. Okay, anyway, I'll go flip on the beacon thing. It'll be fine. Cool. All right, well, I guess we're not going to have any company with us because I don't know where all these dudes are. Oh, you know what? They can't come here because there's no beds. We're going to have to make some beds for them. Okay, you know what? We're going to have to get that sorted out sooner rather than later. These guys have to turn up, right? We're going to need some help. I mean, we don't really need that much help, but it's good to have a little bit of help. All right, so we're going to go for domestic uh, this side. Uh, we're going to have a domestic hallway. That um, goes like that. Perfecto. We have some new residents to greet. No, we do. Look, here they come. What do you think? Oh, man. Check it out. Three fresh meats. All from outside. Look at how filthy they I'll look. I'll be with you in a moment. If you could all just wait over there. A ghoul? Uh, I don't know about Nice. Hey, what's up? <clears throat> Just a moment and we can begin. What are you doing? Please step forward. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, yes. yes. I'm going to say yes. Welcome. So, this here is a vault, right? Okay, Quite I changed correct. my mind. I'm going to say no. And you could Yes. Should we do a sarcastic again? Would it kill them to at least prepare a resume? <laughs> 
Even a cover letter would do. That would expedite the process. Well, next. Ugh. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to Vault 88. This is a real nice place. <laughs> real nice. Yeah. And I can go wherever I like, right? Yeah. Wow. Wow. A real overseer. This guy is... Um, I am so happy to be here. He is mental. <laughs> You're an idiot. All right. Let's call him an idiot and see how he reacts to that. Maybe he'll go into, like, enrage mode. Great. Another idiot. I'm not dumb. I I just really want to live here. Please give me a chance. All right. Another question for you. What can you tell me about your mother? Oh, she passed. But she was nice. You would have liked her. Whoa. She called, there was she some, called somebody walking in the really? background. Uh. That's remarkable. And describe the well, that's spooky. You most admire I saw somebody walking well, back there. She was strong because of the mold. Oh, it's Codsworth. Uh, <laughs> He's just being all fucking creepy I'm back there. Oh, look, well, anyway, he made it. He doesn't so need a bed, so I guess he made it. Build it and attach a terminal to choose the parameters of the experiment. Work clever. <laughs> you euthanize the walking ball sack? <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, she does look like a walking ball sack. You're right. Oh, man, if only. Here, look. Let's bring her some company. Somebody that looks just like her. Coming through. Important business here. What? 